Governor Little says calling in the guard is a quote last ditch effort to avoid activating crisis standards of care. If that happens, it'd be the first time in the state's history. So what exactly are uh, crisis standards of care? Our Nicole Camarda explains. There's an almost 50 page document outlining what the activation of crisis standards of care means if activated, but probably the most important thing you should know is this. The Idaho crisis standards of care plan will be implemented when a disaster event overwhelms usual health and medical capabilities and capacities, resulting in an inability of the healthcare system to provide the standard level of care to all patients. Here's what that means. Let's say that the Treasure Valley hospitals are on crisis uh, standards of care. What that means is there just aren't enough resources for everybody. There's not enough beds, staff, and, and ventilators, whatever it might be. Outlined in the Crisis Standards of Care guidelines, it states medical staff must use objective inclusion criteria to evaluate patients nearing higher or lower levels of care. Dr. David Pate, former CEO of St. Luke's Health System, says that would be devastating for everyone. Let's assume you and I both get COVID and we're both having respiratory failure. We show up at the emergency room. There's no more ICU beds or there's one ICU bed. Uh, and what they will do is they'll score you to determine what's the likelihood that Nicole is going to survive. And then they're going to score me. What's the likelihood I'm going to survive? I can already tell you you got better chance than I do. You'll score better, which means you'll get the bed. And this isn't just related to COVID-19 patients. If you get in a car accident, have a heart attack, stroke, whatever it may be, you'll still be scored like everyone else because there's only so many resources available. It doesn't mean that, it, you know, they just kick me out to the curb and, and I die. It just means I'll be in a hallway, you know, they'll be doing what they can for me, but I, I just won't get all of the services. Imagine you being there and them saying, I'm sorry, we can't do this for your family member. It, it's horrible. As doctors, we don't decide who lives and dies. We try to help everyone. Nicole Camarda, Idaho News 6.